times one is ten. Ten times two is twenty. Ten times three is thirty. Ten times four is forty. Ten times five is fifty. Ten times six is sixty. Ten times seven is seventy. Ten times eight is eighty. Ten times nine is ninety. Ten times ten is hundred. Mom, you know what I just noticed? Each product in the ten times table is the same as the number that ten is being multiplied with, only with a zero added to it. Yes, that's because when a number is multiplied by ten, its value is increased ten times. What do you mean? Ten multiplied by seven gives us seventy. This can also be written as seven added ten times, which is seventy. This means that when the value of seven is increased ten times, we get seventy. The same goes for any number being multiplied by ten. So while multiplying a number by ten. All I need to do is add a zero after it, and I'll have the answer. Yes. Uh, so what is one fifty two multiplied by ten? Uh, one thousand five hundred and twenty. Yes, exactly. This is great. Now I can multiply extremely large numbers with ten easily. Fifteen hundred multiplied by ten becomes fifteen thousand. Eight thousand multiplied by ten becomes eighty thousand. So, mom, what if I multiplied a number by hundred? Its value would get increased by hundred. So, just like multiplication with ten, I would add zeros at the end to get the answer. Yes, while multiplying a number with hundred, add two zeros at the end of the number to get the product. Cool. And if I want to multiply a number with thousand, you add three zeros at the end of the number, and you will have the product. And what about ten thousand? Okay, wait, wait. Here's the rule: while multiplying a number with a multiple of ten, the product will have as many zeros on the right side of the number as the zeros in the multiplier. Cool. What if I ask you to multiply two with nine hundred? Can you tell me the answer? Uh. All you need to do now is multiply two with nine, and add two zeros after the answer. Two multiplied by nine is eighteen, and putting two zeros to its right makes it one thousand eight hundred. Am I right, Mom? Yes, you are, Jessie. You can do this while multiplying any number that ends with zero. Just multiply the first digit and add as many zeros to the right side of the product as there are in the number being multiplied. Cool. Thanks, mom. No problem, son. Here's what we just learned. While multiplying a number with 10, 100, 1000, Or another larger number, the product will have as many zeros on the right side of the number as the zeros in the multiplier. While multiplying a number which is a multiple of ten, multiply with the first digit, then count the number of zeros and add them to the right of the number that you get.